Hey guys, what's up? Pasay Bado here. This is now the third game for today, February 5th, 2023. So this is the game between Philadelphia 76ers and the New York Knicks. That will happen at around 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. That's going to be 7 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pasay Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. By the way, the spread that is given is minus 5.5, and that's actually given towards the visiting team, the Philadelphia 76ers. Now, let's take a look at the standings and the rankings of both teams, okay? Starting off with Philadelphia 76ers, they are at number 3 in the East with a record of 34 wins and 17 losses. While for the New York Knicks, they are at number 7 uh, with a record of 28 wins and 26 losses. Okay, so here we go. The New York Knicks, they would have the home court advantage on this. Um, in terms of uh, fatigue, well, uh, Philadelphia would have the advantage as the Knicks had a game last night while Philadelphia were resting up. Now, in terms of momentum, uh, we got to give it to Philadelphia 76ers. Approaching this game, they are having back-to-back -back wins. And uh, the New York Knicks, man, they are coming off a loss that was an overtime loss. And if you would also take a look at their form, man, Philadelphia is just looking good. Uh, winning 9 out of their last 10 games. Well, the New York Knicks, they are looking shaky um, lately, winning just 3 out of their last 10. Now, if we take a look at the availability of the players and the health of both teams, um, for uh, Philadelphia, MB, this is still questionable for this game. While for the Knicks, uh, Mitchell Robinson is out and uh, RC Diacono is listed as questionable. So, um, not really sure which uh, to side on in terms of that, but um, let's go ahead and give a slight advantage towards the New York Knicks because of who is actually listed in the injury list um, for Philadelphia, and that's their best player, Joel Embiid. Not sure if he would be playing or not, but again, he is listed as questionable. Okay, now this one's big, minus 5.5. Um, I think the New York Knicks, uh, well, not I think, but it's obvious that the Knicks must be a bit tired after that overtime loss that they had last night. Just the score again, by the way. Um... It was, uh, it was a loss against Los Angeles Clippers, 128-134. And that was actually a great game that they had, forcing an OT. Um, LA Clippers, we all know how, you know how good they are. But again, um, they had to go to OT before they were able to uh, take out that W against the Knicks. So for me, it was a moral win for the New York Knicks. But of course, right now, moral wins don't matter no more. I mean, uh, the, the teams would really want an actual win. Now, on this particular game against Philadelphia 76ers, it will be very hard for them to notch a win, especially uh, their form is not really looking good lately. I know they are at home, but um, Philadelphia 76ers, they are well-rested, while the New York Knicks must be a bit tired after that game last night. I'm actually thinking about the spread, though. It's minus 5.5. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that the New York Knicks would still be able to, uh, force, uh, to force for it to be a bit close. Minus 5.5, man. It's just, I mean, I don't know. It, 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 this one's really tough. Um, but I would, I would just go with the Philadelphia 76ers in here. I mean, they are well rested. Um, while the New York Knicks, uh, they are tired. And uh, even though they are at home, the New York Knicks, uh, they don't really perform that, you know, that well against. I mean, whenever they are in MSG. Uh, and that's actually weird, especially that they have a winning record, right? They have a winning record, but they're actually doing better whenever they are on the road. So that's actually something weird for the Knicks. So I'm gonna pick the I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick the Philadelphia 76ers in here with the minus 5.5 on it. Um, but again, this one's really tough. I'm thinking that the Knicks might you know might be able to force it to be a bit close. But you know. Uh, if I would if I would really have to pick, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Philadelphia in here with a minus 5.5. Again, that's Sixers minus 5.5. Peace out, Pasay love, and God bless.